It is time for new nature adventure video. At least kinda new nature adventure video. As I already told you multiple times, this big enclosure it will be for Histerocrates Gigas female. Once I get her, of course. And currently I have these plants inside, but I will move them in another tub. And the idea is we'll make a water section and land section. That way we will see if tarantula will actually go into water and do stuff around it or or not. And also I will put some fish inside so we will see if it will hunt dead fish inside of the water pool, a small lake. Also I want to make a waterfall here. So to divide the water section and land section, I will use a combination of rocks and styrofoam, but I need flat rocks. And there is one place relatively close to here where potentially I will be able to find those rocks. And also since I'm going there, it is a foresty area, I thought that we could also look around, turn some rocks and see if we can find some cool bugs and creepy crawlers. But I'm not promising anything because it is still kinda cold, so I'm not sure if the bugs are already outside. We will find out together, but this will technically be our first nature adventure video. So let's move! And here we are. This... This is Kalnik. Over there behind there is a mountain. It is not big, it is small, but it is the tallest in this, this area. I don't know the exact number, but you see, we are pretty high. Pretty high. Let me show you what I will be bringing with me. Macro lens, ring light for macro lens, gorilla pod, spare batteries, knife and... I have this bucket, but I will leave it in the car and get back to it later after I spot where I will get all the rocks because there is no point taking it deep in the forest and just carrying around. First we are going to find cool critters and then we will focus on finding the rocks. <laughs> Everything is packed. Let's go. Just to close the car. The den van is now secured. Let the adventure begin. Maybe later we can climb all over there on top, like there. And actually we will now follow the hiking trail that leads to the top of the mountain. But we are not going all the way. You see these are the markings that let you know that you are on the right track. You just follow those and eventually you arrive to the top. You see there is another and another. There is a lot of them here. And now I realize that I forgot my drone. Oh no and I wanted to have some nice drone shots. But I think that I have some shots from the last year so I will just use those. Now we are going to climb this. And you see, this says harder and this says easier. Should we go on harder side? But I also don't have a GoPro. I will not be able to record this climb. Maybe just parts. You see, it is pretty steep. You need to go all the way there. And then behind, well, let's start. So far easy. But this is almost like a stairs. Yes. Now we are a bit higher. And the trail leads us here, but I need to put down the camera because I cannot do this with the camera in my hand. <laughs> Got this first part, now the second part over there. This will be just a tiny bit challenging. And luckily I got the exact footage of that path, you see? I'm climbing now here, 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 here and here. Yeah, fun, fun, fun. Victory! I survived and sorry for the noise, I'm not sure if you can hear me. This is first out of I think seven different smaller peaks and they are called Zubi. This is first Zub, but we will not continue that way. We are actually going down here back into the forest and yeah, now we will actually start searching for cool bugs. I just wanted to take you up here so you can see the beautiful view. It is beautiful, right? Yeah. Let's go. This path that leads back to the forest it is much easier than the way up. And how did I forget drone and GoPro? Both things that I really, really need for this trip. But no, instead let's just climb carrying in one hand $2,000 worth of camera. <laughs> yeah, that is really smart, right? Does anyone need some leaf litter? I have a ton of it, as much as you need. There are some logs there, so let's turn them and see what we can find. Nothing. And this is too heavy to move. Maybe this one. Oh my. <laughs> Nothing. Let's pull it back. Here is some curious looking web. <laughs> Let's see if we can fish some, some spider with a stick. I mean, not a spider with a stick, but we will fish with stick. Just a regular spider that doesn't have any stick. Looks like nobody is home. 
Well, that is unfortunate. There is also some curious looking web here, but I don't see any spider. Is anybody home? I'm looking for a spider. And the web actually looks really similar like the previous one. Wondering if it's the same species. Maybe it's just so small that we cannot see it. You see, I removed everything and no spider. No spider on sight, unfortunately. I know that I promised you creepy crawlers, but it looks like it could be too cold. This is actually a nice rock, flat rock. Almost like the one that I need. Oh, look, here is actually one creepy crawler. Finally something alive, although I have no idea what it is. I will put it here on the rock and take the macro lens. So here it is, it is definitely some sort of millipede, but it is all curled up and I don't know if I can get it to, to start moving. Hey Mr. Millipede, are you alive? Hmm, she really doesn't seem like that. Maybe it is just a bit too cold for her, I don't know. We will put her back into the soil to make sure that it doesn't freeze overnight. And look here, some old snail house and it is all webbed up. Maybe there is a spider inside. I put rock back onto its original place. And I just used the cell phone to record this because now I have everything installed, macro lens and everything. So I will move something else and see what I can find there. So here is one cool bug for you. Finally something alive and moving. I don't know what's the name, but people don't really like them because there is an, I don't know, a myth where they actually go inside of your ear and use this, this big claw on back to damage it. But I think that that is just a myth. And this one looks really, really young. They're usually much, much bigger. Yes, and just as I was thinking, will I ever manage to find some sort of spider? Finally, I found one ground spider. <laughs> if you remember, I had one of these. And it was a female and I tried to pair it with the male that I found. And it was really hilarious pairing. I will link you the video so you can check it out. It was, check it out and you will just see. But yeah, first spider in this video. Finally. And can you actually see her eyes and fangs? I cannot get any closer. Unfortunately, she's not that big. But you see, this is her web, so I don't think that this is the same type of web that we encountered previously. And I'm really not sure. Curious looking flower, but I have no idea what it is. All right, I've been turning rocks and checking stuff out for like an hour and those were only animals that I was, that I managed to find. So I'm pretty sure that it is too cold, so I think that I'm just going to head back to car, put all the stuff there, take the take the tub and get some rocks. In the meantime, if I find something, I will have the camera. Look, a bumblebee. He's a busy guy. And a really loud guy. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, dog, what do you see there? What's up? Hey! And this adventure is over and I'm not sure if it was really that successful. I even had a hard time finding correct rocks. I got unpleasantly surprised how hard it is to find a flat rocks. Majority of these aren't the correct rocks that I need, but I think that I will have enough for this project, but I was expecting to get much, much, much more. A lot more than this, but whatever. At least it's something. Hopefully next nature adventure will be much much better. It will be hotter and we will be able to find a lot more creepy crawlers. But now it is what it is. Hope it was at least kinda enjoyable. If it was, make sure to thumbs up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. Apple every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye!